All right, Shalom, Shalom. With the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great. First off and foremost, <clears throat> I would like to say, Call Halayim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, or Kar Kadash. Barakatim to the Akim out there, double honors to the other apostles, a great millstone, and salutations to the elect. Wherever you, um, wherever you may be. I'm going to hop straight into this. Uh, I currently don't have my notes. I'm just going to hop in uh, the spirit. Um, <clears throat> just the second address, 11, because you got to link it up with secular history when you go on, uh, when you go into it. And that's one thing our elders teach us, especially when it comes to certain chapters in Daniel, like Daniel the 11th chapter, so on and so forth, all right? And just like 2nd uh, Edris 11, all right? Because 2nd uh, uh, Edris, the 11th chapter and 12th chapter, almost the same uh, chapter. It just one explains one more in detail than the other, right? Because one is the vision actually getting explained, all right? So <clears throat> let's get this vision of the eagle, right? <clears throat> then saw I a dream, and behold, there came up from the sea an eagle which had twelve wings and three heads. All right. Now this is representing the ancient Roman Empire, all right? The pagan one. Okay. Starting, you know, you, you have your twelve feathers and you have your three heads. All right. Which the twelve feathers? It goes into uh, the twelve Caesars. All right, and the three heads are the triumphant, okay? Matter of fact, let's get some of this. <clears throat> 